What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on Shining Resonance Refrain, and we need to... You know what, we gotta do this first. We gotta go have our nighttime chat with Sonya. Oh, what am I doing? Welcome back. Talk to you, take a rest. Good evening. You have time to talk? Sure. You've been staying with us for a while now. You finding your way around Mar Marga okay? Yeah, I'm getting used to it. It's such a huge city and the market's got so much great food. I know, you can smell it every time you walk by and then you basically have no choice but to stop by. What did you get? Salt grilled mackerel? We're going with the mackerel. Oh yeah, the fish. That first bite is always the best when the salt's all stuck to the meat. Yeah, that. You know what I'm talking about. I love it. Ah, thinking about get it, get it, uh, thinking about it is getting me hungry. Think we could go grab some for a midnight snack? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're closed. I think I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later, Yuma. Okay, night. Bed. Wow, Yuma, that was not smooth at all. You could have taken her for a midnight walk, and even if it was closed, it was still a midnight walk. Yuma, you're, you're garbage at picking up chicks. <laughs> yeah. Alright, to the castle we go. Oh, Yuma. I wish it would just take me to the castle. This walk just seems so meaningless every time I do it, to walk up to the castle here, like, and this area just feels so meaningless. Hi. I guess there is an ex- there are exits here. Hmm. Interesting. They're gathering the world dragon's souls? What are they trying to do? They can't be. Do they want to resurrect the world dragons? Use them against us? World dragons, eh? Hmm. Well, they've awakened the Draco Machina from their slumber, and now... I wouldn't put it past them. Remember, they've already used normal dragon souls for those damn experiments of theirs. Whatever they're doing, we have to stop them somehow. Um, sorry to interrupt, but what are the world dragons? I still don't really know. Your Radiance does not know of the World Dragons? I keep telling you, I'm not the Shining Dragon. I've never heard of the World Dragons before all this. Well, you were cooped up in Gale Ritz for a while. I guess it makes sense you'd be out of the loop. Well, don't worry. I can give you a little private lesson if you ask nicely. Uh, thanks. So, world dragons are basically the most powerful dragons there are. They've been around since the world began. There's five of them. The earth dragon, the sea dragon, the sky dragon, the dark dragon, and the good old shining dragon. But at the end of Ragnarok, the world dragons sacrificed themselves to seal Deus. Nothing was left of them but their souls. Yet thanks to the Armonix, the shining dragon lived on. Though his body was destroyed, his mind remained intact. There are seven Armonics in existence, all of which were created from the Shining Dragon's own body. Long before Ragnarok, the Shining Dragon created these Armonics and bestowed them upon the people as gifts. When the Shining Dragon lost his earthly form, the Dragoneers played their Armonics for him. With that power, he persisted. I had heard the legends of your survival, but to see you with my own eyes? Truly, I am not worthy of such honor. Point is, the world dragons were the strongest of their kind. And that's probably what the Empire is figuring, too. But the Empire has the Draco Machina. And they aren't world dragons, right? Oh, definitely not. 
The Draco Machina are dragons that fought on the side of Deus during Ragnarok. They say Deus created them, but their power practically matches the world dragons. They're kind of legends themselves. After Deus got sealed away, the Draco Machina basically went dormant. And now, Princess Excel has woken him up for herself. I think I get it. Legends say that Deus held power beyond any mortal, and aimed to use that power to reforge the world anew. The world dragons rose to oppose Deus, with the shining dragon in their number, and so began Ragnarok. Besides the shining dragon, there are four other world dragons. The Empire's got the Earth Dragon soul, so at least three. That's assuming the Empire hasn't snapped up any others by now. Right. But it's not like they could get all of them this fast. It'd be great to get all three, but we need at least one. Hey, Lady Kirika, I don't suppose you know where we'd find a world dragon soul lying around? I cannot be certain, but I believe I know where to begin the search. The High Elves who allied with the World Dragons would have honored their souls, and kept them safe in shrines. Yet I fear they would be nothing but ruins after so many years undisturbed. As we have discovered no such sanctums in the Kingdom so far, there must be ruins yet undiscovered in this land, if we aim to find the World Dragon souls, I expect we will find them there. It's not a lot to go on, but it's better than nothing. Let's head into town and see what information we can dig up. Okay. Please tell me we're all done with the dialogue. Okay, so we just gotta go back there. Wonder if there's anything past that that they that's coming up. I wanna go to the new like landscape looking areas. The cave and the the cave was different, but it's still just a cave. I can't really get excited about a cave. Okay. Um I think either way is just as long. So we'll take the scenic route through the market. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta talk to the tuning guys. Oh, this isn't the tuning guy. This is the... Uh, I forget what... I forget what he does. What does he do again? Ruins, huh? You want something other than the places everyone knows? Right. We're looking for any information on more out-of-the-way places. If you have any suggestions, we'd appreciate it. Well, I don't know about any actual ruins, but... You know Ladlam Caverns? That's where we went to say Primula. Yeah, they say that it was formed when part of the plane suddenly caved in a long time ago. Nobody knows exactly what's down there. Maybe that's what you're looking for? Might be some ancient ruins stuck in the back of that old cave, huh? This seems as promising a lead as any. I believe we should investigate. But if you're gonna check it out, be careful. I've been hearing some strange rumors about it. I hear the place is haunted. Chock full of ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? My goodness, Agnum, are you all right? You've gone so pale. Uh, nope. Uh, all good. Just, uh, just peachy. What kind of ghosts? Children. If you go deep enough into the caves, undead children will stalk you from the shadows. <sighs> Just reaching out to you and screaming, Get out! Get out! 
Really, that's... great. I can't speak for the accuracy of ghost stories, but regardless, it seems we are bound for Ladlam Caverns. Right, let's go check it out. So we're going back to the cave we already went to. How's it going? Yeah, 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 here we go. But like this, it's not terrible. Hi. But like this is what cre this was this is what stops me from sitting down and playing this game for three or four, five, six, seven hours in a row, is because yes. we just listened to dialogue for the last Enemy approaching. eleven minutes plus the like final six minutes of last episode. Like I, I can only take so much just sitting here listening to dialogue. There's yes. only so much of that I can listen to. Yes. What level is this thing? 23. We'll flank it. Risky? I flanked him. My mother nature. I'll take your wounds. Go. I'm a sneeze. Ooh, excuse me. I'll take your wounds. All right. Killed the rainbow chickens. Did we level up from killing uh, 17, 17, 20? So Kirika and I are about to level up. Kill the frogger. Alright, you finish him, he's broken. And he's broken, so they're dead. Please level me up. 18? She did level up. I don't know if. I don't think I did. Yeah, 17, 18, 20, 17. Yes. That. I do love the music in this game. Yes. Into the cave we go. Alright, now where the heck do we go? Huh? What's wrong, Lady Kirika? I sense a dragon soul. I did not sense anything the last time we were here. Is it a world dragon? I cannot say. It is still too far away. But there is a dragon soul of some kind nearby. Without a doubt, we should investigate further. <laughs> we'll fight little mushroom thing man here. Enemy approaching. I shall be your opponent. <laughs> little thing actually has a little bit of health. Agnum, are you gonna swing your sword and help out? Alright, is that going to level me up at least? Yeah, there we go. 227 experience for that, not bad. Oh, we got the Grim Reaper. Alright. Come here. Okay. That's... It's a kid. There's a kid here. It's true. It wasn't just a rumor. Huh, what is going on? I can sense the dragon soul. It's coming from that child. A ghost with a dragon soul? Why? I do not know, but a dragon soul is definitely involved somehow. We must follow that child. Well, I wanted to fight this guy. Take this! Take this! Take this! Take this! Take this! Oh, it broke, finally. It's dead. Give me some sort of decent experience. 113. Please don't make me- oh my gosh, there's gonna be dialogue every time. Hey, uh, you know, we really gonna follow- Hey, uh, you know, we really gonna follow that kid? 
What's wrong, Adam? Agnum, you don't want to? Oh, uh, well, it's just I have this thing with ghosts. Are you afraid of the undead, Agnum? Don't be ridiculous. It's not afraid of the undead. It's just, well, ghosts are different. Hey, wait, what are you, where are you going? We're going after that child, of course. If you'd rather wait here, then take a seat. Ah, fine, whatever. I'll go, like I have a choice. Anything but ghosts, Agnum Trait. Oh, yes, more dialogue. Yes! There, over there. You good, Agnum? Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Huh, that child. I feel like I've seen that child before. But who is it? I can't remember. Okay, can we stop with these walking five feet for dialogue? Just do all the dialogue. Huh? I could have sworn I saw... Is it... gone? That's weird. We couldn't have missed... Missed who? Ah! <sighs> Careful, everyone. They're carrying a dragon soul. I can sense it. You shouldn't be here. Get out. Now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Or pay the price. All right, you little ghost. You want some of this? Wait! Yuma? What's wrong? I know her. I mean, I know them. <laughs> what? You, you saying this ghost is a friend of yours? She's not a ghost. I met her a few times back at Galritz. There were twins there, and she's the sister. Sister? No, I'm a boy. My name's Et. Don't get us mixed up. Wait, you're the brother? Something wrong, Yuma? Uh, never mind. Sorry about that. So, you remember me, huh? Yeah. My sister Marion liked you for some reason. What? I think that's enough chit-chat for now, Et. y <laughs> My, it's been a while. You know this guy, too? Yeah. He was at Gelrit's prison, too. He's the Magus that was experimenting on us. <laughs> oh, the time we had together in Gelrit's. Fun? I never want to be part of your sick experiments again. Oh, really? A shame. It certainly was fun for me. Just remembering your screams gives me such a rush. You gave me quite a shock, you know. All that time and you managed to hide the Shining Dragon from my analytic sacrament. I've kept your cell nice and warm. Be a good little guinea pig and come back to me. I'll take care of you. Listen to me. I'm never going back. Is that so? Then I'm afraid you leave me no choice. Et? <sighs> Et, are you listening? I'm giving you an order. Teach those ingrates a lesson. Fine. Et! Et, stop. You don't have to listen to him. You can come with us. Shut up. What do you see? All right. I'm gonna smoke you in the next year, Et. Stop moving away, little pansy. Get back here. Uh, oh, my, my eye. Ed, what's going on? Shut up, it's not your problem. Well, our song is about to be your problem. Yeah, my heart is fulfilled. Boy, and you're broken. Eat all of this 
damage. You just got smoked at... You just got spanked in the next year. 1,369 XP. What's wrong? Is your eye... Don't touch me! Well, well, what have we here? Your left eye hurts. Which means a defect in the magic oculum. Curious. Curious indeed. I've never observed this kind of feedback before. I wonder what could be causing it. <laughs> Hello in there. Are you all right, Et? Damn it! Damn it! I... I'm... <laughs> <laughs> ah, of course. I see now. It's the Shining Dragon. It's possible the dragon soul was exposed to the shining dragon for too long, and now there's some struggle for control. I suppose that's only natural, since the eye was only implanted with a common dragon soul. Implanted? Et, have you calmed down? <sighs> the pain's starting to go away. I think I'm okay now. Indeed. Good. Well, I see no ruins here. I doubt I'll find any of the world dragons either. A shame, but it seems I've wasted my time. And I can hardly capture the shining dragon like this. Perhaps it's time I called it a day. Time to go, Et. Wait, what was that about your eye? Shut up. Uh. Et! He's gone. Guess the Flash was just to let him escape. Et, why are you doing this? Yuma, were you friends with that boy? I knew him, but we weren't really that close. We just saw each other now and then. Apparently, I didn't even know them well enough to tell them apart. I guess I was wrong about what happened to Et. What do you mean? Back when I was at Gailrit's prison, I overheard the guards talking. It sounded like they put Et through some insane experiment. And he didn't survive. Damn. But that was him, right? I guess. I must have misunderstood. Either that experiment never happened, or... Or maybe it was actually Marion that died. I'm not sure. I see. I can no longer sense a dragon soul. Its aura faded with Et's departure. Whatever else this cavern may hold, it appears there are no world dragon souls here. Back to square one. So where are we supposed to look now? Hmm. Well, if we're searching for ruins, there could be some records left. Might be time for some research in the castle library. Oh boy. Oh, good idea. I'll give you a hand with that. Wait. Hey, don't give me that look. I study ancient history sometimes, okay? It's not a big deal. Besides, I'm a seasoned traveler, the man of the world. I know the lay of the land here in Alfheim. Wow, I guess you wandering off on your own actually came in handy for once. Okay, let's do it. Well, now we've got that figured out, let's head back to Astoria. Rinna, Agnum, I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry, we're on the case. Okay. Okay. Um Let's see. Hello. Okay, I think this is a good place to call it an episode because I think we'll get our next mission when we go inside the Seagull Inn. So I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you all in the next episode of Shining Resonance Refrain. Peace out.